Hey, what's up guys, it's a Saints fan, and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox. This is a series where you guys ask me questions, either about GTA or gaming in general, and I give you my opinions on them. And if you want to ask a question for next week's episode, either leave it in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube with the subject titled Monday Mailbox. Now this one's probably going to be a shorter episode, mainly because I'm not going to be answering too many questions, this is sort of like an update sort of video but basically we're going to be talking about the gta 5 next gen which was huge and a little bit about e3 now by now most of you guys probably already know about the next gen you've seen the trailer like 600 times because i know i have especially just seeing like what's new trying to figure out what's different seeing how beautiful it looks compared to the normal gta uh, that we have now and throughout this week i'm gonna be doing a bunch of like breakdowns and stuff and Sort of letting you guys know what's going to be happening and, and, you know, what's the difference and all this other crazy stuff. So, I'm excited about it. Hope you guys are going to be excited about it. If Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss all that stuff. But getting into the first question from Senkushi. He says, as you probably already know because you're at E3, Sony announced the PS4 release of GTA 5 and Rockstar announced all of Next Gen and their PC on their YouTube channel. Are you going to do a vlog about this, keep up the good work, or not? Your choice, I won't judge. Well, uh, thanks, man. But uh, here's the thing, right? So at E3, and this is not GTA-related, but just vlogging-related, at E3, I did record some vlogs. Um, not as many as I, I wanted to, but and, and I'll explain more about that in the E3 vlog, which is going to be coming up soon. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a couple of vlogs from when I went to North Carolina to see the mountains. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll see a crazy amount of pictures of me in the mountains and stuff like that both of those are linked in the description if you want to go check that out but as for the vlog yeah uh that'll be coming out in the next day or two most probably but gta 5 being announced i know this is like obviously a couple days old this is huge man um i hope you guys are excited we made a video me garrett and ross if you haven't seen it last week i think it was wednesday like a day or so after it came out just because like this guy said you know we were at e3 so we couldn't do all those types of videos um, when you know it actually happened which is kind of disappointing but then again we were at E3 so you know I got to play so many other games and if you guys want to see or, or hear my opinions on some of the other big games let me know in the comment section I'm definitely down to do that but moving on into the next question this sort of again ties into the GTA 5 next gen Sword Tactics says hey Saints fan the next gen version of GTA 5 will be coming out for the new consoles and the PC I was wondering if Rockstar would do what Minecraft did, where they give people who bought the game last generation a discount if they're going to rebuy it. For example, I bought the game for $60 for the 360, would I be able to rebuy it for $20 on the 1? Well, Minecraft is different in a sense that everybody has to buy it off the arcade store, and it only worked like if you bought it for the Xbox One on your same account, and so obviously it's easier to track. Now, Rockstar does have Social Club, which most people have, um, you know, synced up to, and so they have that, but... As for just having it bought, because, like, you can just go to your friend's house, run the game, and be like, hey, look, it's on my account, you know, I should have it for only $20 on the Xbox One or the next gen. And uh, it would be a lot harder for that to work. Um, so I really don't think that they are going to have a discount. Now, what I have seen is that PC version is going to be a little bit cheaper. Just because it's PC version, you know, you don't need a disc, you don't need the case and everything. And normally that's how things work. PC versions are always cheaper. So that's why I'm really excited about PC, you know, whether it is $60 or $50 or $40, whatever, man. I, I'm just so excited for next gen, just to see the next gen graphics, all this new stuff that they said they have, or that they're adding in the newswire. But as for the discount, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there will be one. But this sort of ties into the next question from Martin Bill, and he says, Do you think that the story DLC will be a part of the next gen PC version straight on the disc? Both have releases in the fall. Or do you think the story DLC will be a DLC for next gen only? Personally, I think it will be a part of the next gen version because it gives gamers who have bought the 360 PS3 version a reason to pay for the same game on the next gen console. So this is why it ties in because what they could do, and this is a great possibility, Rockstar could... Now, I'm not going to say they're only going to release the story mode DLC on next gen because that would be a real slap in the face to the people who bought the 360 and the PS3 versions. But maybe it is on the disc straight out the game or straight out the uh, the box. You know, you don't have to pay an extra $20 on top of the $60. So you have a choice. Either you pay $60 for the next gen to get all these new features plus the DLC or you just pay $20 to get the DLC on the old gen consoles. And what they could do, and this is a possibility as well, because they did announce, I think it was on Twitter or somewhere, Rockstar announced that they are going to be working with PS4 to have some sort of exclusive something. 
so maybe the story mode dlc comes out earlier on the ps4 or the ps3 that's a possibility we don't exactly know what that could be because you know with rockstar it's always so secretive uh they don't want us to know anything until it actually happens it seems like so but as for the story mode dlc yeah man that, that's probably that honestly that's probably what will happen just because they are both coming out in the fall and that's going to be the time for a star, story mode dlc you know a lot of people are wanting that story mode dlc especially after heist comes out you know that's the last big online dlc that you know i'm sure they'll sprinkle some little ones I, obviously you guys saw it, the hipster update and all this other stuff but the story mode dlc that's like the next big thing and we always know rockstar story mode dlcs are amazing so it, it's definitely um one of the higher up possibilities that's going to happen and then one last thing i'll mention about heist um just because i normally get some comments this isn't a question from anybody this is just um me telling you guys something so today's monday the, the 16th and tomorrow tuesday is the last tuesday in spring and we haven't gotten a news yet about heist and i know a lot of you guys think that like us youtubers get some like inside information from rockstar and we just keep saying, oh, it's coming out soon, it's coming out soon. Guys, look, I'm j I'm like you guys. I want Heist to come out. And uh, when Rockstar keeps saying that they're going to be an releasing them and then they don't release them, it's just as frustrating to me. You know, obviously, I said last week it's probably going to come out. Th I mean, everybody pretty much said it's probably going to come out on Tuesday just because it's the last Tuesday in spring. But we haven't gotten any information, so I don't know what's going on with Heist. I really don't. Uh, some people I was reading on a forum said it's almost like a mythical like creature. It's like a unicorn. You know, Heist, they, they're kind of like, until you see it, you know, I'm not going to believe it. Just because that's how they are, you know. Whether they come out this week and Rockstar tra stays true to their word with the whole spring update, that's yet to be known. Um, obviously, you would think they would come out this week just because of that, but... Again, you know, normally they give us three to five days warning with a newswire, but that hasn't happened yet, so who knows. But let me know in the comment section, Are you? do you even care about Heist anymore after the whole next-gen version DLC, or I mean, not DLC, the next-gen trailer? Like, at this point, I think I'm more excited about PC version in a couple of months <laughs> rather than Heist. So uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And again, if you want to ask a question for next week's episode, leave it in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube. But... Just be prepared for this week for some awesome videos. I'm going to probably be doing a lot of more funny moments. You guys really did like them, and I really do appreciate that last week. But now that we're back home, not on vacation, we're getting back into the swing of things. So we just be expecting some awesome stuff. I will probably not live stream tonight just because I have to do so much stuff uh, and just get everything unpacked and stuff like that. But I probably will live stream tomorrow. So if you're excited for that, leave a thumbs up on this video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, share it, subscribe, all that stuff. And as always... Boys, thanks for the mo. Peace.